My name is Pemba Sura Wanching. Uh, my friends call me just Pemba. Uh, I was born and grew up in Mongolia. My parents are both of, from countryside, but they got educated from Russian Federation. And I'm a medical doctor and currently working as an instructor at the Department of Cardiology at Health Science University of Mongolia. If I'll describe Mongolian peoples, uh, we are strong, clever, hardworking and gener generous people and it's a great nation. Traditional Mongolian nomadic people have a very healthy lifestyle, like they do their own stuff by themselves. And for, for living they hurt an animal and also they make their own clothes and like they leave, uh, they even hurt their animals what, even it's summer or even it's winter. Generally, they use very natural food, like uh, like a real uh, good meat and also good wheat and also some vegetables. And summertime, traditionally Mongolians doesn't eat any meat. Come to Mongolia and visit to Lambatur, you will see that everywhere they're building a new apartment. Even I'm young, I've seen a dramatic change of, of a city. And when I was maybe four or five years old, there has very few cars and people often, often get bus to get to their work. But today we can see a lot of cars in UB. With the change, the, the communism to the capitalism, uh, we, we brought also the change in our food. Especially, they had like a lot of uh, fast food places. Her spirit. Uh, maybe uh, 80 or 90 years ago, most of Mongolians were nomadic people. But currently, today, half of the Mongolian population population is living in capital city called Lamacha. and. At a, per year, 30 to uh, 40,000 nomadic people are moving to Ulaanbaatar for searching a new life. So this migration is really changing the people's health. Before 1990s, they had a, a more dominance on common capabilities. But since 2000s, we are facing with the much more non-communicable disease problems. According to the World Health Organization, non-communicable diseases are heart disease, diabetes, lung disease, cancer, mental disorders, and traumas. Despite heart diseases being a leading cause of death in Mongolia, many Mongolians know very little about non-communicable disease, particularly uh, nomadic people and care district people, rural people, population have very less information. So the poorest population have less amount of knowledge of their health. I think poverty is really affecting for the non-communicable disease. Firstly, the, the population who has affected the poverty have a low income. So they have a very uh, difficult to choose if fresh or natural foods from the stores, they are expensive. The other point about the uh, poorest po population, the poorest population are having uh, less access of the park, garden, fitness club or other stop sport clubs. Uh, even in Geary area, they have no pavements. It's very difficult for them. And also, uh, the poverty is leading to the stress. So overcoming this stress, the community is using alcohol a lot and also using smoke for overcoming these all troubles. Actually, whether poor or rich, everybody have a risk for the non-communicable disease. But it's about how you live and what you eat. It's very difficult to find a child who doesn't like Coca-Cola, 
french fries or burgers in the world. Mongolians are the same. But I'm very confident that uh, together we can overcome the challenges of NCDs. Mongolia had the highest economic growth last year in the world. And that means Mongolians are having enormous possibilities. I'm really confident on Mongolian future health because of uh, this young generation is being very educated and they have a motivation and dedication to change the things in Mongolia. Uh, for creating a healthier future, need, need to provide an opportunity for all population to get a fresh or natural food instead of the fast food. And also, health education is very important. Planning the city is a very important issue. For example, I'm a medical doctor. Uh, I said I counsel to my patients, like, you need to do physical exercise. If, if who's living area, if they have any park or pavement, how can he or she can run? For me, the future of Mongolia will see a country uh, where everyone has an access to good food and a safe place uh, to exercise and healthcare if they need. This is the key to overcoming the challenges of NCDs. Mongolia has great opportunities and we must take this opportunity to create a healthier, fairer and more prosperous nation.